वेलकम टू कंप्लीट वीडियो सीक्वल ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द विदाउट पैरामीटर स्टोर प्रोसीजर लास्ट वीडियो आई ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड विद द स्टोर प्रोसीजर दैट इज दैट इज द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द सीक्वल पार्ट ओके सो दिस प्ले इज द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल टू क्लियर द इंटरव्यू एज आई डिस्कस इन द लास्ट वीडियो एज वेल and uh, also uh, very helpful to work in the real time environment so uh, please keep more focus on the part of the sql video store procedure uh, that will be covered in the uh, next 10 video series okay so uh, last video i already discussed uh, the theoretically part of the uh, conceptual part of the store procedure i provided the uh, uh, the advantage and the uh, why we use the store procedure and also i discuss uh, the uh, types of the store procedure and uh, if you didn't get a chance uh, please go and watch the video number uh, 48 uh, before starting this video so you will get better understanding so the last video i discuss uh, under the uh, types of the store procedure that is the user defined store procedure and uh, user defined store procedure we have the another uh, type that is the with parameter and without parameter okay so in this video i am going to discuss in the detail uh, without parameter store procedure and uh, this is the first part of the video uh, of the creating the store procedure so i also show you how you can create the store procedure and uh, how you can execute the store procedure uh, with the without parameter store procedure so uh, let's jump to the sql server uh, management studio and uh, i have this uh, sql server management studio and uh, why we required the store procedure so uh, last video i discussed that uh, it will save the code if you using the code again and again okay like for example i have this code and you are the developer each every one hour or two hour you executing this part piece of the code i taken this piece of uh, this part of the code as example so what you need to do you can you need to open the uh, management studio and the file again you can re execute the code and you can uh, copy the output and send to the uh, management or the client okay so each every one hour two hour means you are doing the some uh, repeatable tasks to avoid the this uh, we can create the store procedure and save this all the code uh, under the uh, by using the store procedure so the first step uh, like how you can convert into the store procedure so so uh, without parameter means we need no need to create any parameter uh, value just you need to create the procedure so the syntax for the creating the procedure is uh, uh, just you can write down create uh, procedure procedure you can also uh, write the short form procedure name Uh, like uh, P R O C, and you can put the uh, procedure name. Uh, let's say example give the uh, with uh, uh, we we need to give. You can give the any name, but uh, I am here the giving the name like without parameter. Okay, uh, so we can better understanding. So after the procedure name, uh, you need to just put the edge. Okay, uh, since this is the uh, without parameter, so no need to pass any parameter below here. Uh, after that you need to put the begin and uh, when the and begin and in between you need to put the part of the code okay so this might be the 100 line 200 line so begin and end is the not the mandatory but as we sql uh, writing code uh, best practices we need to always put so uh, we can realize that uh, where the this procedure is starting and uh, where this proces- procedure is ending okay so uh, once uh, create procedure is done so now you can need to execute it so this procedure will be created and how you can verify that uh, this procedure is created or not so uh, you can go to the database this is the complete sql training uh, from the left panel okay so i have this database here uh, like uh, complete sql training or just you can do the refresh uh, and uh, click on the uh, database and under database we have the pro- uh, programmability under we have the store procedure so when once you click on the uh, plus icon now uh, you can see uh, whatever the process uh, procedure you created 
the short form is the SP. Whatever the store procedure you created, it will populate here. And uh, you can see without parameter store procedure is created. So the next time, whenever you require to run this code, uh, no need to execute the entire, just you need to execute the code. So what is the syntax to execute the code? Uh, just here, uh, just you can uh, write the exec and procedure name. Uh, you can also write the complete execute uh, and you can uh, run the uh, this uh, param uh, execute procedure name. So the output will become so like for example if any developer they want to run this code or like for for example you close this code and uh, next one hour you required so no need to append the entire code just you can put the execute and the procedure name and uh, when you execute it uh, you will get the output so uh, this will save our time that we need to open the code and, and also they use the re-execution plan uh, I will di discuss in the detail of the store procedure performance tuning uh, but uh, execution plan is I already discussed in the uh, last video okay so basically they reuse the first execution plan that is the reason the store procedure is always faster so the next one is the I suppose if any developer created the store procedure and if you want to see uh, what is the code involved like uh, suppose one developer is uh, uh, some something the name is XYZ uh, he developed and he left the organization two years back but now you are uh, using this store procedure in the real time and uh, if you want to see and if you want to alter the procedure there are two ways first one is that you can just uh, uh, write the sp underscore uh, help text and the procedure name and once you execute this part of the code you will get the code okay whatever the written here so just here copy the code and put into the new window okay and uh, you can see what code is used okay and you can also if you want to alter uh, you can just put the alter procedure and the procedure name second way is the uh, you can just go here and right click and the, you can see script store procedure as uh, drop and create to open in new window so once you created it you will get like this uh, that uh, first dropping the uh, this procedure and uh, they have the some uh, set ANSI null one this is the some setting in the database that will be covered in the future video okay so here you can see uh, the procedure create procedure and the all code is displaying if you want to alter something just you can put the uh, alter command here and if you suppose uh, any type of the mo modification you is required okay you can change and you can re-execute it so the procedure will be got alter like for example I want to remove this table I don't want to remove this table so you can update the procedure and you can uh, alter the like for example I don't want this one so uh, we also don't want a department name so once you pro uh, procedure is altered and if you re execute the procedure you will not get the department information now if you run this procedure like execute the procedure name okay you can see the output is coming the department information is not coming so this is the department coming from the employee table okay so like this uh, if you can alter you can also drop the procedure anytime okay like uh, just uh, uh, click on the drop and just you can write drop uh, uh, procedure and the procedure name okay so this is will be permanently drop so without before executing you can see uh, this procedure is there but when you drop the procedure this procedure will be not not available into the database so now go to the store procedure and just you can refresh it okay so now if you want to uh, refresh it you can see the procedure is not available so like this you can create the procedure anytime you can alter the procedure anytime and even if you not required you can drop the procedure suppose or task is completed so uh, that some space will be occupied in a store procedure into the database so always we need to be put the cleanup part okay so this is the best uh, practice part of the uh, real time when we working so you can do like this and you can uh, achieve any type of the requirement and uh, this this is the reason uh, the store procedure is very uh, helpful uh, to achieving the requirement that is the reason you will get more question on the store procedure so this is the uh, without parameter store procedure and the next video I will discuss in detail 
uh, with parameter store procedure how we can create the uh, with parameter store procedure so uh, thank you so much for the watching this video thank you